Eight people were injured in the terror attack in uh, Jerusalem overnight. Six of them were brought here to the Sharet Tzedek Hospital in Jerusalem. Two of them in uh, critical condition were taken immediately to the operating room. One of them is a pregnant woman. She was in uh, week 26 of her pregnancy, and uh, due to her uh, condition, the baby was uh, delivered at this uh, very premature uh, state. Uh, the baby is now also uh, considered in a critical condition. Therefore, we're currently speaking of three people in a, a critical condition here at the Sharet Sedek Hospital being treated, of course. Uh, four other people were brought in a light condition, three of them already discharged home, and we were able to speak here at the hospital to uh, the other uh, person who was lightly injured in the attack. Let's listen to what he had to say. I heard a, a gunshot, and I looked to my right. I sat right next to the window. I heard a gunshot, and uh, I looked, and I saw the window, like, shattered. So I quickly ducked, and I saw I had, um, uh, like, blood everywhere over here. But uh, everyone started ducking. I was screaming, Shema Yisrael. It was a pretty scary sight. Regarding uh, the terrorist, we're speaking of a resident of East Jerusalem, 26-year-old Amir Sidawi. Uh, he sat in an Israeli jail for uh, five years, went through uh, certain seminars in a prison, uh, hoping to uh, recuperate from, from uh, uh, whatever state it was that uh, brought him to prison. Uh, whatever it was, it clearly didn't work. The man was, again, engaging in uh, terrorism. At, uh, and at 1.30 uh, a.m. local time began a shooting at a bus uh, which was stationed uh, uh, right just uh, on the way from the uh, western uh, wall. Uh, it was a perfect opportunity for the terrorist as uh, the bus was uh, in a, a bus station. The driver uh, getting off the bus to help a woman with a wheelchair. The bus was full with people coming back from the western wall. That's the opportunity uh, in which uh, the terrorist uh, carried out his uh, attack. It took seven hours from the attack until the terrorist uh, handed himself to police, understanding that eventually he uh, will be caught. He will now uh, be questioned by security forces. At least the early estimate says that he was acting alone and not as part of an organization. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.